This is my winter morning routine. So the first thing is just getting out of bed, avoiding the snooze button and what helps me is to get all my stuff ready, the clothing, everything else and then slowly but surely I come to life. I get a coffee ready in here, I try to make sure to sometimes take a few weeks off from consuming coffee but I gotta say I love it getting the bag ready and having my pre-workout. These days I keep it very simple, some creatine and some citrulline for a better blood flow, higher performance, but I'm not gonna lie, this stuff ah, it tastes really horrible. And then it's gym time. So I hit the gym at the moment three to four times a week. So as it is right now, the winter, I try to bulk up a little, gain some muscle, get a little bigger and with my training I keep it with the essential. So compound movements like the bench press, lat pull down and tracking your progress. This is the only way you're really gonna know if you are getting stronger over time. After the gym, coming home. And a wise man once said that making your bed is the start of achieving something great. So it doesn't work out always, but getting my room in order really helps me to get my mind straight as well. As always, the gutter world to see koala. Very often I take a shower in the gym just to save a little time, but this time hitting one up at home. And then making sure that my working environment has as few distractions as possible. So cleaning it up in the perfect situation, obviously it would be already clean. Hitting up the airplane mode on the phone. No one can reach me for the next few hours. This is one of the New Year's resolutions for me. And then helping myself to stay hydrated. And really focus on just one thing. In the morning, you have the best focus, the best creativity, and that is the best opportunity also to get into the so-called flow state, where you're 100% focused on just one thing. So after like two to three hours, usually it's around 11 a.m., I'm going for a fruit shake. I love it, it tastes amazing, Judy got me into it. What I also do in the mornings for better focus is intermittent fasting. So basically not eating anything until at least 11 a.m. What that does for you is that your insulin levels don't get spiked and therefore you don't experience this kind of like tiredness and dizziness after a big meal in the morning. So I try to push the first big meal a little bit further, going from a first bigger meal where important, getting in a good amount of calories, some fruits, some veggies with it, and I'm good to go. Okay, and this is pretty much my morning routine as of right now. I've been living like that for the past few months in the winter. It's obviously not as much fun as in the summer. It's dark, it's cold in the morning, it's windy right now outside. But still, I gotta say, I absolutely love it. The feeling after a workout, the feeling when the clock hits like 1 or 2 p.m. and you already have a good portion of your goals for the day done. It's so windy here. Let's go inside. Alrighty, so back inside. Outside it's just started to rain pretty heavily and uh, yeah, this is my morning routine and uh, Before we're gonna finish the video three more things that I want to address so 
Basically, I would say this morning routine or overall having a morning routine really made life easier for me. Waking up every morning knowing what you're gonna do, I think makes it easier to not get like in a rushy state in the morning, trying to be everywhere at the same time, getting your things ready. So in the evening, getting everything ready for the day, I would say is what really helps me, number one. Number two is gonna be very important, get enough sleep. I think this is something that a lot of people are struggling with, me as well. I'm like, yo, next morning, 5 a.m., I'm waking up and then I'm in bed maybe at 11, six hours of sleep, it's just not enough. I would say for me, the sweet spot is at like seven and a half hours, sometimes even eight if I have a good day. And if you wanna have a video on how I try to optimize my sleep so far, it has been going pretty well in the last few months, especially in the beginning when starting out this routine you're most likely gonna lose a few hours of sleep. Also, very important, number three, for everyone who watched this video, this is not how every one of my days looks like. I would say two to three days a week, I have amazing mornings, I'm super productive, at like 2, 3 p.m., yo, I got more done than in the last three days, but sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes I'm feeling super tired in the morning, and what I wanna say with that, this is for me kinda like my ideal morning that Every once in a while just happens like that perfectly. I try to stay on track with the 5 but some, uh, five a.m., but sometimes life happens. Life gets in the way. Like uh, during December, a lot of holidays, a lot of events. There have been weeks where I wasn't really able to do it, and that's just part of the game. I would say it really comes down to getting back on track. I personally see so, so much value in having an early morning routine. I've obviously have done already more than enough videos talking about the benefits of it, but with this video, I actually really wanted to show you how it looks for me in terms of time, in terms of what I do, in terms of what I eat, to have a more productive morning, to yeah live a more fulfilling life in the end, I would say. And uh, in the end, I'm really interested. How about you? Do you have a morning routine? If yes, what is it? How does it look like? Is it very different from mine? What are the similarities? I'm really curious on uh, yeah what your morning routine is, so let me know in the description below. And with that, smash the thumbs up button if you haven't yet. If you're new here on the channel, my name is Danny, and I've built this channel around my travel journey, which I like to share what I learn along the way. So here on the channel, you see daily vlogs from my life, travel content, I'm planning a trip as of right now, more about that coming soon in a future video. So subscribe if you wanna see more content like that. And as always, you got a world to see, and we're gonna see each other in the next one.